Hey everyone, Nick back today for another video. And today I'm gonna discuss a bit more about ransomware. I know I've done a lot of videos on that. Uh, if you go through, we've done a ton of videos on ransomware and phishing emails. Um, but there are some things about ransomware that I haven't talked about. Uh, one of those things is how it can remain dormant on your computer. So let's just think of an example. Say you're hit with ransomware, um, you're all panicking, you don't have backups, uh, you have a lot of data that's encrypted, that's very important to your business. And it's a life and death scenario where if you don't pay it, um, you, there's a possibility you would go out of business. So you are forced to pay it. Say you pay the ransom and uh, you get your files unencrypted. Great, everything's good. That is until the ransomware comes back. So when you pay the ransom, uh, typically five years ago when you did pay the ransom, uh, you would get your files back. Um, and hackers are pretty ethical about this. Uh, I know ethical and hacker doesn't really go together in the same sentence, but when you did pay them, they would return your files. Um, now, uh, in the last two years, uh, ransomware has become a billion dollar industry. So what that means is kind of like the gold rush in the 1800s. Um, everyone's trying to, you know, get as much money as they can. Everyone's uh, flooding into the system. Uh, so what that, what that leads to is a bunch of uh, hackers and criminals who really don't know what they're doing. Uh, so they say they do encrypt your files and you do pay them. There is a chance that you will not get your files back um, just because they do not actually know how to unencrypt your files. And there really isn't a help desk you can go to. Uh, you can call up someone in say Russia and say, hey, I paid you a Bitcoin. Um, whether, you know, I paid you a Bitcoin, I paid you a few thousand dollars uh, to unencrypt my files, you accepted the payment and my files are still encrypted. Uh, there really is no way to kind of help you with that. Um, so the reason why ransomware may come back on your computer is because it was never actually gone in the first place. Uh, there is a chance that after you do pay the ransom, your files will be unencrypted, everything is working well for a few days, and then next thing you know, uh, it is encrypted again. So there is a chance that it will stay dormant on your computer. Um, as far as you, uh, as far as you can, are concerned, you may not even notice that it is on your computer. Um, a possible solution to this is a firewall system. Um, the firewall system that we implement, um, it has a ransomware detection in it. Uh, the way it does this is it uses artificial intelligence. Um, Mike likes to say all the time, you know, the robots are going to kill us soon. Uh, but for now, they're pretty good at detecting ransomware. Uh, so what this does is it monitors your daily, act your daily activity on your computer. Um, so it looks for certain spikes. Uh, usually when ransomware hits, and tries to encrypt everything at once. Um, and when this happens, it becomes a big drain on the computer's resources. So the, the, the AI that is in the system, it will detect when this happens. And when it does detect this, it will shut down the ransomware uh, before it has a chance to encrypt your files. Uh, so that is one solution. Um, to uh, dormant ransomware. Uh, usually we wouldn't even get to that point where it would need it, uh, it would need to be used in that situation. Um, but just so you know, uh, this is more of an educational video uh, saying that just because you pay the ransom doesn't mean the ransomware is off your computer. Uh, and that's it for this video today. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll be back again sometime next week.